All right, so grinding. We got grinders here. That way we can grind up all this stuff into solder or wood chips. You got this one here that can be pulled with the tractor. You got to have a tractor to use it. You've got the grapple, but this littler one, all honesty, it's better to have wood at this length right here. Smaller pieces of wood. It's just easier to feed it into there. There is a bigger version. It's the truck. And uh, we'll, we'll go have a look at that thing. I don't have it, but we'll go look at it. It's uh, basically just a really big version of what we're using. And it does have a lot bigger. This here is a lot bigger. This loading area, loading dock or loading conveyor or whatever is a lot bigger. But I do believe you have to have a trailer to put that right into with the uh with the other one the one that we're using it's self-contained up to like 14 or fifteen thousand, i think maybe even 16 we'll find out here but anyway we're gonna go ahead and grind up some of this if you don't have it set in your settings for the engine to stay running or have manual start you might want to do that for this that way it'll stay running for you so that you can get off the machine and that way it'll stay running while you're outside and then you can throw all the wood in while it's running otherwise it's, you're gonna have to use that crane for everything these are cut this is pine cut at one meter so it'll it'll pretty much grind up pine no problem this is one whole pine tree one fully grown pine tree and i'm pretty sure that fills it all the way up so one tree equals a whole full tank. And yeah, you just keep on chucking them in there. Like I said, you can use the crane, but it's just, eh, it's a lot easier doing this. It really is. Some of the stuff's too heavy for you. Like with, um, ah, uh, there's some, uh, oak over there and uh, some hickory you got to cut it up so small that you can't hardly pick it up at least with that you can the bigger pieces you can feed in here with the crane but it's pretty hard to deal with that that other stuff's pretty hard to mess with but as far as making wood chips this is really about the easiest way because as you can see, when we started, we were at zero, and I, I would say we're probably already full right now. If we're not, we're really, really, really close. We'll go over here and see. I don't know, maybe I can pick this up. It might not be too heavy. Yeah, we can pick this up. We'll just set that right there. So you can pick up stuff like that, but when you get over here, it gets so heavy like this. You can't you can't pick any of this stuff up. It's just too heavy. You might be able to pick some of the small stuff up right here. Yeah, we can do that. But when you get into this stuff, it's all bent like this. It's hard to get it hard to get it to feed in this machine right. We'll go ahead. We'll try it out. There, yeah, it goes. It worked out. Let's see how full this thing is. Uh, we're only about 9,000. But we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get this thing folded up and show you. You can you can dump this wherever. So you can make yourself a little pile or whatever you got. You can go ahead and dump your wood chips out. Make piles or you can take it wherever you want. I've already got some wood chips dumped, I think, right in here somewhere. I did have. But you just make your little piles wherever you want. And then uh, the other one, like I said, it has to have a trailer. So you're going to have to have something to dump it in. This one here, I, I believe it holds 16,000, I'm wanting to say. But if you're doing, if you're using the uh, production where you're you're needing wood chips you're you're gonna kind of need this machine here and all on it this one here is faster than doing 
the poplar or granite. I, I think it is. It's much quicker as far as the amount of wood chips that you get. And that's the basics of wood chipping. Thank you.